It's like fun for your ears. I don't have a super tight script here. I'm just gonna share some thoughts using the OnePlus Bullets Wireless 2 for a couple days, and they're pretty good. I still think removing a headphone jack is dumb, but if a manufacturer removes it, I think it's important that that same manufacturer offers audio solutions. I reviewed the USB-C bullets last year, but this is my first turn with the wireless. And there's an interesting blend of features and compromises. OnePlus opting for more of a neckband design over true wireless right now. I totally believe they'll have some kind of true wireless option up next, but neck bands are my favorite way to keep earbuds powered. And this is kind of a most of the way halfway step between a neck band and just a behind the neck strap. It's, it's pretty floppy all the way around. It's a mostly rubbery plastic build. Uh, the satin finish coating is nice. It feels really nice in the hand, but I was a little put off by the exposed charge port. With this much space, I'd prefer that there was a cover, especially if you use your buds to work out. That feels less nice. The quality ramps up though when you actually handle the ear buds. It's a stainless steel casing with a magnetic clip and that action replaces the more traditional power button. And that's a nice build quality perk at the price. We're talking OnePlus, so it's a techie headset. <laughs> you pop them open near a OnePlus phone and they'll automatically pair. Using them with another handset, you just have to use a more traditional pairing button and the headset will remember two devices, so you can switch back and forth pretty easily. The microphone housing has our play, volume, and voice assistant controls. Uh, this is a minor gripe, but I kinda wish that these buttons were on the chunkier part of the neckband. Like they'd be less of a moving target when you have the buds in your ears. Not a deal breaker, just something I kinda like on competing products. And why do I love neckbands? Uninterrupted battery life. OnePlus boasts 14 hours on a charge, for my more casual listening, I got three days of use pretty easy, and that only takes 10 minutes to get these up to around a 60 or 70% charge. It's one of the things that bothers me about moving to wireless for all of our audio. It's another battery to charge, and you're left in the lurch if you don't have a headphone jack to fall back on. But if you can get to some power source, you won't be out of commission long with the bullets. But for all that tech, the most important question, how do they sound? Pretty good, really good for most people. Triple drivers are becoming all the rage in this price tier. You use multiple drivers to carve up sections of the EQ for a broader representation of your audio. OnePlus hardware impresses with all of the right tech specs. We get two Knolls balanced arms and a dynamic driver per ear. That extra hardware is put to good use as the bullets connect over aptX HD. We're getting a higher quality audio stream coming in to feed all those drivers. In the consumer space, multi-driver is often used to pump a more colorful and bass heavy mix to your ears. Deep V EQ, for example, is really popular as a more aggressive mix than the old smiley face of cranking up the bass in the treble. A OnePlus doesn't do that. Out of the box, the bass is restrained, a very tight spring for low frequency punch. Very little overall rumble or sustain. You can turn that up in your phone's EQ, but they'll never roll or saturate that bass. There's a noticeable presence to the mids though, which sounds great to me. That's where I'm most sensitive. Clearly defined and carving up where vocalists and guitars live. But with so much hardware on tap, two balanced arms, aggressively loud tracks can get a bit piercing in the highs. I mean, just hanging on to the edge of shrill. Overall, it's a nuanced and balanced sound. Not quite flat EQ to my ears with that low frequency roll off, but they cover a lot of ground well. If you're looking for skull rumblers, you'll be disappointed. But these walked pretty easily between rock, pop, and jazz. I did lean on the EQ for hip hop and electronica. And one quick return to the techier aspects, aptX HD is great from a quality standpoint, but Bluetooth audio is one of the things that's still troublesome if you like to play games on your phone. And if you're a OnePlus phone user, pretty likely that you like that horsepower, that you like the ability to play graphics intense games at the most fluid frame rate. I'm spending some time with the OnePlus 7 Pro, it's awesome. But Bluetooth, even Bluetooth 5 with aptX HD means we get a significant amount of audio lag. 
lag. If you're playing anything that requires some precision or some timing, like uh, you know one of these audio or music matching games, or even something like Alien uh, Blackout, where there are audio cues that alert the player to something challenging happening, you're always gonna be behind. You're never gonna be on the pulse. Bluetooth is convenient. It's nice not having a leash between you and your phone, but it still hasn't quite caught up to the precision of plugging in a cable. There's an exciting arms race for audio happening, cabled and wireless. The tech convenience versus lifestyle practicality. OnePlus joining the multi-driver fray at $100 is a clear shot at enthusiast brands like One More. And I'll be writing up a showdown between those two companies on Bluetooth with triple drivers for somegadgetguy.com soon. It's the best problem to have. There is no winning headset. We've got a ton of great options, and OnePlus is delivering a solid argument for why you should give them your cash. And you gotta love magnets. I'm driving my phone crazy right now. I'll of course have links below where you can get more info or shop these buds online. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these reviews, and for subscribing to this channel. Not just bumping some good tunes, we want to know we're getting the best fit audio gadget for our specific tastes. If you would like to help support production of those conversations, there are links below, or you could consider joining the list of names scrolling by. It's a growing community of like-minded tech fans. We're having some fun conversations. I hope you check it out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Instagrams and the Facebooks and the Twitch, and I will catch you all on the next review.